And let go. Yeah. Yeah. I think the let go is often forgotten when we talk about acceptance, but it's, for me, it's the codicil of everything always changes, right? So accept that and then let it go. It's, that's not static either. It's the, it's the iterative quality of this life and this learning and this journey that we're on as possibilitarians looking for our next best move. Do you have thoughts about how I have thoughts, uh, but I want to hear yours of how this <laughs> habit of accepting and letting go. Do you have a theory about how that generates possibilities or how that translates? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, so I can. I think it's about it's it's the mindset of iteration and the mindset of experimentation. Right. So I think as designers or anyone who's led a workshop or this and that, it's the, how might we, how might we, and you open up these things and that's really this awesome forward iteration stuff. And, but how might we is a little bit fluffy and it might leave out because it's forward looking. It's like, how do we do this thing? And when I was thinking about, I was framing, working on the course for the school, the possible, and I was starting to formulate some of these things. Is it possible that, and the formulation of, is it possible that leads itself into a way of looking at your problem as a hypothesis or an assumption or something that you can test, something you can work with. And so it's the possibilitarian in this, okay, accept this. Is it possible that's because, is it possible that leads to, right? You have this incredible framing for both looking at those, the causes and exploring what could be right? and making it better. Mm -hmm. It's actually super, super powerful. So it's fuel for experiments. It's fuel for, why don't we try this? 